Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you a full guide on how you can make some easy money in the Saturday Solo Cash Cups. And in my opinion, Solo is the easiest game mode to make money in because you don't need to build up an incredible amount of team synergy. Before we get into that, consider using code MARINTM in the Fortnite item shop as that is the best way to directly support the grind and let's aim for 5,000 likes on today's episode and with that said, let's get into today's video. As an introduction to today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the prize pool and where you have to place on the leaderboard to make money. This is going to be the European prize pool, so if you are from any other region, I would recommend checking out in-game under the compete tab how much is up for grabs in your region. So in Europe, if you place within the top 50 on a Saturday, you will make money. And believe it or not, but this is actually not as hard as it sounds. So to give you guys a better understanding of how you, and yes, I'm talking about you, can place within the top 50 and make a quick bag, it's crucial that we understand the point system. Because nobody fully understands it. So, let me explain. As per normal, you get one point per elimination in the Saturday solo cash cups. And when you win a game, you get 20 points. This means that the win to kill ratio in these cash cups is 20 to 1 higher than ever before in any other hosted Fortnite tournaments, other than a few tournaments hosted by content creators like the Nikkei 30 Cup, which had a 46 to 1 win to kill ratio, and the Mongrel Cup that had the exact same win to kill ratio as the Solo Cash Cup. The point system is still very different. As you can see on screen right now, your first placement threshold is placing within the top 75, then 50, 40, 30 and so on. All of these placement thresholds give you 1 point until you get to the top 3, 2 and the win, which doubles your initial 10 points for getting to 4th. Placing 3rd will give you 13 points in the given match, 2nd will give you 16 and 1st will give you 20. And that's why, if you want to place in the money, you have to place in the top 3 in most endgames you get to. Because if you don't do it, somebody else will. This means that you gotta do what you gotta do to survive at all costs if there's 4 players remaining. In addition to that, you have to get good loot going into the moving zone. Zones. If you don't have good loot, you need to fight somebody and win that fight. There's no way you're placing in this cup unless you consistently get a lot of kills or consistently hit that top 3 placement in your matches. That leaves the question, should you play for placement in a solo cash cup or W key to get your points? And after taking some time and thinking about the pros and cons of either of the options, the answer I have concluded with is pretty simple. In cash cups, it's important that you win your first game. And I am by no means saying that you can't place without winning your first game, but winning your first game with around 20 kills will give you the best possible opportunity to place within the money. This is a lot of kills, but it takes some fighting skill to be able to make money in tournaments. And I am positive you guys have that. In addition to that, I want to quickly mention that this tournament does not have a kill cap, meaning your points will never be limited no matter how many kills you get. Alright, so now you've won the first game. In the following games, you want to play for hard placement. And I'm talking about playing end game only and never getting greedy for one single kill. If you do this and manage to stay calm and focused and play for end game in all of your remaining games, you will have a massive opportunity to make money. And sure, you might not win the tournament, but this is going to be the most consistent way to place in the money in the cash cup. Everybody watching knows how going for that one elimination you think is free can mess up your entire cash cup. So don't let that happen. Get max mats and some extra minis and play end game only. This way, I can guarantee that if you have your day, you will place in the money. The solo cash cup is needless to say one of the hardest mental tests in the world. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong for a lot of people playing these cash cups. And when that happens, it's not easy to stay positive and hop into the next game with a good attitude just to be killed by Jimmy0148. However, if there's one thing I know for certain, it is that a solo cash cup isn't over until it's over. When I placed top 100 in a solo cash cup as a completely mediocre player, it was all thanks to me keeping an amazing mentality through the tournament. The first 6 games I played off that cash cup went terrible and I needed to triple my points in 4 games. And thanks to me having a good and positive mentality, that actually happened. If you want to see that video, feel free to have a look in the description where it will be linked. The next topic I have to talk about is confidence. Because confidence is necessary if you want to succeed in the solo cash cup. So how do you build confidence and pull through in a tournament? Firstly, understand that during a tournament, you have no flaws. 
And you guys might be thinking, but Marin, that's not true. And you're completely right. Everybody has some flaws when playing, but thinking about these in a tournament is a big mistake. Going into a tournament, you gotta have the mindset that you're fully ready with your mechanics, aim, and decision making, because truthfully, there's nothing you can do about these things when you're in a tournament. And guys, I fully support thinking about it after the tournament is over and reflect upon what you could have done better. But if you start thinking about the fact that your aim isn't top tier or that your game sense isn't the best in game number five, then I can guarantee that you will not place in the money in that cash cup. Because overthinking is one of the main reasons a lot of people do incredibly good in the first half of a cash cup and then completely choke in the other one. The final topic I'm going to touch on in today's episode is that I would recommend everyone watching to take this tournament seriously. And for some people watching, I am now simply stating the obvious. But I know quite a few semi-professionals and even pros that watch me that don't care about solo cash cups because it's solo and that's the worst mode for a lot of people. And even though I completely understand the reasoning behind why someone might say that, not taking it seriously would be throwing away future opportunities. Not only only will you be worth more money to an organization, but you can also get way better teammates down the line if you have a few solo placements. And if you think solo placements don't matter, and I know a lot of pros don't, then you're wrong. Solo placements is the placements that matter the most for average players looking at you. And if you want to build a community, then placing in solo cash cups is a great way to start. Historically, it's also been the mode that has had the most engagement on YouTube Twitch and Twitter, so take that into consideration the next time you skip playing a cash cup because you hate solos and understand the potential you actually have. With all of that said, it's time to conclude today's episode. Firstly, the prize pool for these Saturday solo cash cups will generally have more people winning money than previous ones. In Europe, the top 50 on the leaderboard gets paid out. And secondly, the win to kill ratio in these cash cups is 20 to 1. A more placement based point system than ever before in solo cash cups, with emphasis on placing in the top 3. As we all know, these cash cups can be a severe mental challenge because everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But the beauty of this competition is that it's not over until it's over. You can always come back and place in the money, especially if you take it seriously with a lot of confidence. Alrighty, so that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you found this video both enjoyable and informative, and hopefully you'll be able to make a quick bag in the Saturday Solo Cash Cup. I for sure believe in you, and with that said, my name has been Marion at TM. Stay safe and take care.